I was pretty much left speechless when this movie ended, so I decided to come film a review of it. We are what we are. If you've been looking for a change of pace horror movie that really is a slow burn and takes its time building up to the third act, We Are What We Are is definitely a movie you should check out. If you like your horror movies real fast paced and jump scares and everything flying at you, this is not the movie for you. Um, with that being said, We Are What We Are centers around the Parkers, which is a family that has a secret, and boy do they have a secret. Now they've been carrying on a particular tradition for generations, and as the new kids are born, they get raised into this, and basically adopt this lifestyle as if it is normal. And that's really, to me, where the fear comes from in this movie. It's more with the kids in the movie, because if you figure you're being born, and you're brought up throughout your entire life, as a particular thing being normal, that's how you're going to view it. It doesn't really matter how the outside world sees anything until you get contact with that and you can start making those decisions for yourself. But just imagine being brought up in your family, force-fed a particular idea. That's what you're going to believe is right. So this movie is very creepy in that respect. Now what happens is it's coming up to this date that they need to perform this tradition and the mother of the family passes away and this happens in the first couple minutes of the movie and it really centers around how the father is dealing with that and how the kids are dealing with that but the kids are getting older now they're starting to make those own decisions for themselves and they really don't want to carry through with this anymore so it's just kind of a creepy idea that you've grown up into something you've already done this it's a normal thing for you and now you're having that obligation do you stick with family or do you go against what you feel may not be right very interesting how they play this off. Now, like I said, this is a very slow burn movie. It takes its time. There are no jump scares or anything. It's very story driven and phenomenal acting in this movie. The acting is great. And for me, the show stealer is Michael Parks. Uh, Michael Parks, if you do not know who that is, uh, most of you probably know him most notably from Kevin Smith's Red State. He was the preacher. But anyways, he does a fantastic job. All the acting is really good in the movie. Now, I'm not going to say I was the biggest fan of the movie. I did enjoy it. It was a breath of fresh air. I really like slow-paced horror films. I'm a big fan of movies that take their time building up to get you invested into the story and deliver something at the end. It's all about the payoff for me. I don't care about a jump scare every five minutes because, to me, that's not memorable. I want something that's going to stick in my head at the end, and this movie did do that. So, with that respect, I did really enjoy the film. It was a little sloppy in some areas. I felt like sometimes the pacing may have been just a little bit too slow, or you know, maybe I lost my interest a little bit here and there. But the payoff at the end was extremely satisfying, and overall I did really enjoy this movie. And that's why I was left speechless when the movie ended, because I was just constantly thinking about it, and I think that's the best thing a movie can do for you. If, when you're done watching it, the movie sticks on your head, and you're thinking about it, that's a good thing. And I'm still thinking about it as I'm talking. I, really don't even know half the stuff that I want to say about it right now because I'm filming this right when I got done watching it. But overall, We Are What We Are is a well-made movie. It has a fantastic score in it, a very eerie kind of score. But great acting, great cast. There's a lot of recognizable faces if you do pay attention to a lot of, you know, straight to a DVD or Blu-ray horror films that don't get a lot of attention. There's a lot of familiar faces that you'll appreciate. But I do recommend this movie to anybody looking for a change of pace. And if you like a slow burn that has a payoff, this is the movie to check out. So if you have seen We Are What We Are, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought about it. And thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you next time.